Hey, 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 what's going on, kings and queens, home buyers, sellers, or investors? This video right here is going to help give you all that frustration about real estate, especially for beginners or experts. This is the one video you need to really understand, you know, how to get into real estate, how the whole process works, and why more people use realtors or why it makes so many millionaires, but that also comes with the adverse effect too. This is going to really change your entire life if you watch this whole thing and stay to the end for the best tips. As you probably have noticed, real estate is definitely by far its own little language. Whenever you're doing real estate or trying to get into real estate, if you immerse yourself into it, like right now you are, it will teach you so much on how to actually understand the terminologies, what's going on, how they work, to know what a equity or a note or REO or a FISBO, all the different terminologies out there that really gonna have that loss and drive frustrations. So first off, you know, you probably seen other videos talk about this first because it's super important to understand what this means. The first one is, what is a house? What is a home? What is real property? There's a lot of different things from land, from farm and ranch, from commercial, from single family housing. So, let's start from the basic one we all on this team every single day. Number one, SFH, single family home. This would be a one person dwelling space. It could be, you know, single family house, it could be two bedrooms, one bath, five bedrooms, one bath, luxury or not. Either or, there's still a single family home despite the size of it because it fits for one person. This is probably the most you know, common one we will see in terms of actually having people living there and buying. But then the next one could be for duplex or for a triplex or for a quadplex. And if you haven't seen it already, my video above talks all about house hacking and how to do it for yourself. And I'll cover more on that later, so stay tuned for that. But house hacking is a great way to get into real estate if you're brand new. But you know, the next one. And despite it having a fourplex or a triplex, they are still single family homes. Because it's one to four. This also works for small pieces of land. Normally, if it's over 15 acres, it will kind of branch into farm and ranch. But it's a whole other video for different discussion. So let's bring down those. Now, you also might be familiar with condos and townhouses. You know, a condo is pretty much the same that you own a particular unit in a building and you sell all the cold spaces. So this is the walkway, this is going to be, you know, the pool, the gym within the comp building. There is a condo. Townhouses is you pretty much connected to a different line, which is similar to a duplex but a lot different. Townhouses are also free popular, at least here in Texas. I'm in Austin, Texas actually, and townhouses everywhere, especially for San Marcos or for Buda or even Kyle. And then the next point we're going to is going to be your commercial real estate. These are your six plexes or your eight plexes or your nine, 10, 12, 24, 100 complexes. These are apartment buildings, which is really popular in most, most places. And if you're trying to get into investing, that is a great way to do it. And I have a whole topic coming up soon all about loans and how to get more than one loan your credit line. If you're kind of savvy with real estate and investing, you know you only have so many houses on your one line of, you know, credit score. But if you do commercial real estate, you can have much as you want to for a higher interest rate. We'll cover that pretty soon too. Now the next point again to get into how the different kind of real estate structure is what next? 
the student being able to actually buying it, having a note and having that mortgage. So you can build some equity in that property. And the way this really works is super simple. And let's say you have a house that costs $200,000. And you want to print down either 3.5% which is a FHA loan, which is by far for the best for, best for first time home buyers, or a conventional loan, which is maybe 20 to 30%. So in other case, in the case of FHH, you're putting down $7,000 for this $200,000 house. And then the leftover difference is going to be your mortgage. And then the equity is a little bit you actually have for yourself. As of now, you put in $7,000, that's your equity, and you're going to pay down principal, which I'll talk about pretty soon as well. And you like this video so far, definitely like that button, subscribe to this channel, and tag your friends below and sell this video to people you know trying to get into real estate and understand real estate as well. I am a realtor here in Austin, Texas, and I literally live for this. This is like my main job, my main thing I do, and I also teach a lot of people who are other realtors this kind of techniques as well. So you have your mortgage rate, your interest rate as well, as I just talked about before. There's three main kind of loans, you know, commercial loans, conventional loans, and FHA loans. All your ones are a little bit different. And right now, if you do a FHA loan or a conventional loan, the interest rate we have currently is 2.25 to 2.5, depending on your credit score. Also, a big part of real estate is your credit. If you have around 580 to 620, you're in that really entry point to start doing real estate and money on your credit. You also need to have, you know, two years of back history if you kind of be a lease person. But you kind of buy a house, you only want 60 days of pay stub, make sure you're eligible for it, which is kind of similar. You have questions about that though, let me know below or send me an email. I'm more than happy to answer that for you specifically to understand more about what this means, how to buy your first house or buy another house or sell a house. I'm more than happy to help you do that. Next we will be is leasing and renting. This is a huge aspect of real estate. And if you're trying to be an investor, this is a key word you know. It's called rentals. If you have this house that costs $200,000, you want to try to use the 1% rule. This means that you want to have your house rent being at least $2,000 plus 1% to cover your PITI. This is your principal, your interest, your taxes, and your insurance. These are the four quadrants for that, and this will equal out the cash flow. Cash flow is king, as you all know, and the way you kind of have it down, how you're gonna lease your rent, cover most of this. This also works for house hacking too. And house hacking is when you have four quadrants of a fourplex, live in one of them, and rent out the other three to cover all the PITI and also your rent as well, so you can live for free. Yeah, live for free. It's great with the into it. Yes, so STR, LTR, short term mentors, or long term mentors. You have seller financing, you have Airbnb, and all this things that really account for your cash flow to make sure you understand how to really get into real estate as a beginner or an expert. There's still a huge part about, you know, property managers. You have cash um, appreciation or depreciation. You have Plotage, and Plotage is a huge, huge one. I just sold a property yesterday for my fiance, Melanie Ginsburg, and we talked about how the lot right next door, if you bought both of them, let's say $2 million together, but instead of being $2 million, it'd be a 2.5, because for Plotage, one plus one equals three. I know, it is a little wild, but if you add more to one piece of land, it's gonna increase your price margins a lot. And also go for appreciation and depreciation. And here in Austin, Texas, if you have a house, this is my last point, you can refinance or do a HELOC, which is a home line of credit, and put using that house as your bank. So this is my house right here. I'm gonna take equity out and use it by a different house. This is refinancing a home or HELOCs, and this is really powerful for you to really, you know, use that equity for your benefits, especially as an investor. And then back to investing, you know, you have wholesalers who's gonna buy notes or contracts and sell that to somebody else at a higher price point. 
also really easy entryway to get in there. But really be careful with that because a lot of people do it legally. This is why you need people like me who are realtors to help you understand what is legal and what's not legal. And Catway also had a huge factor for your PITI, which is your principal, your interest, your taxes, and your insurance. All different things make up for your PTI and for your cap rate. And let's say your house is two hundred thousand dollars. At the end of the month, for your mortgage, you know PTI, PITI, it goes out to be around fourteen hundred dollars a month. And we have that cash flow coming in for someone leasing with you or renting from you. The leftover amount would be how much you have left over. So let's say six hundred dollars from two thousand dollars in that one percent rule we just covered earlier. This is a huge, huge powerful point to really understand how to make sure your NOI is super powerful for you. And the next point was your ROI, return on investments. Another key point to add to that is, you know, this is super, super powerful and relates so much into your cap rate because it's your PITI we just covered with your principles, your interest, your taxes and insurance, and also your mortgage payments you have it goes up to let's say fifteen hundred dollars a month, and you use a one percent rule I just covered a uh, two hundred dollar house. You have two thousand dollars you gotta pay. You use fifteen hundred dollars of that with your lease or how many are you, and at least you five hundred dollars left over as cash flow with you an investor. Or if you are gonna be living yourself, that means that's gonna cost you around fifteen hundred dollars a month for a two hundred dollar house and then rent normally might be $2,000 if you just rent out regularly. This is a huge, huge point for really sticking in your mind. And then in terms of, you know, more real estate investing uh, tips for you is, is that physical will expire, you know, for sale by owner, owner or expire or withdrawn means the real estate was working with them couldn't help them sell the house. I had clients myself that had five different realtors trying for two years to sell that property for them and no one could do it. And then I come in and help my client within the first month have the house sold higher than the series they're asking for. As the client goes to sell, while you are using realtors, my next point is make sure you interview them, ask them questions, see if they understand what's going on, and are they authority in real estate? Do they understand it? Are they experts? And that is gonna be a huge, huge factor I mean, knowing if they can help you sell, buy a house. I have houses I've sold in one hour on a contract after having it under my name as a listing agent. So, hope you have, this all makes sense. I know it's a lot when it comes to housing and condos and multifamily and commercial loans and net NOI, PITI, all this terminology, but you really immerse yourself into this, understand what all this means. It's gonna be a huge, huge benefit for you understanding real estate. This is for beginners and for experts. As I said before, this is a language. If you understand these kind of languages, you start seeing this more throughout your life, other places, even songs and movies. Because I say before, 90% of millionaires are made through real estate to some degree. So if you understand this topic, you might be the next one out there. Again, make sure you smash this like button, subscribe to this channel, tag your friends below, and sell this video to people you know trying to get into real estate themselves. And if you need help buying, selling, or investing, I can help you in all 50 states in 12 different countries. Let me know below. I'm more than happy to talk to you. And you can book a one hour free consultation call with me that I give you more hands on tips, one on one coaching, and really teach you how to get into investing, how to buy your first house, or how to sell your house you have currently as fast as possible. Again, my name is Jordan Super. I'm happy to help you out. See you all soon. We'll keep your Kingston Queens and abundance is your birthright.